Some people just have way more debt than they'll ever be able to pay off, no matter what they do. And if that sounds like you, there is a way out. Chapter 7 Bankruptcy In this video, we're going to explore what Chapter 7 Bankruptcy is, how it works, and how you can decide if it's the right option for you to get out of debt. Before we jump in, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our page so that you don't miss out on any debt relief tips. Hey everybody, my name is Ben, I work for the nonprofit Upsolve. We help people get out of debt and take control of their financial futures. Now, today's topic is one that's really important to me because a few years ago, I was drowning in debt when my small business failed. No matter how many side jobs I worked or budgets I made, I just could not pay my basic expenses and my credit card bills. It was horrible. But thankfully, I found a way out through Chapter 7 Bankruptcy. Bankruptcy was an absolute lifesaver. It helped me get back on my feet and take control of my financial future. And if you are struggling with debt, it could be for you too. Let's talk about it. So what exactly is Chapter 7 Bankruptcy? Simply put, Chapter 7 Bankruptcy is a legal process that helps people get out of debt and get a fresh start financially. It's very different from other forms of debt relief because it actually wipes away all of your eligible debt like it had never existed. So whether you're drowning in credit card debt, medical debt, or other financial obligations, Chapter 7 Bankruptcy will wipe out all eligible debt in four to six months. Now, there are some costs to Chapter 7 Bankruptcy. You have to pay for two financial education courses, and you have to pay a fee when you file your forms with the court. Now, the good news is that you can apply for a fee waiver for all of these fees. Now, in addition to the court fees, if you choose to work with a lawyer, you'll also have to pay for their services, and those costs can be considerable. They're usually around $1,500, but that depends on where you live and how complex your case is. It can often be more. Now, you can usually get a free consultation from a lawyer so that you can see if they're a good fit for your needs before you decide to hire them. Check out the link in the description for help finding a lawyer near you. Now, many people can file for Chapter 7 bankruptcy without the high cost of a lawyer. In fact, if you have a simple case, you may be able to use Upsolve's free bankruptcy filing tool. Now that you understand how Chapter 7 bankruptcy works, let's talk about the types of debts that you can discharge in a bankruptcy filing. The first thing to note is that not all debts can be discharged in a Chapter 7 filing, but there are some common types that can. Let's look at the most common ones. Credit card debt, medical debt, or personal loans. You can also discharge payday loans, pass due utility bills, and certain tax debts. Some people can even discharge federal student loans in their Chapter 7 bankruptcy filings, but there's a separate process to do that, and you can check out the link in the description to learn more about that process. Now, all of these types of debts are called unsecured debts because they're not backed by property. Now, some debts, like car loans or home loans, can't be discharged in bankruptcy unless you agree to give up the property that secures the loans. These are called secured debts. If you want to include secured debts in your bankruptcy, you'll want to check out the links in the description to learn more about how to safely file bankruptcy when you have secured debt. Okay, you understand what bankruptcy is, we've talked about the types of debts that can be included, now let's talk about the pros and cons of filing bankruptcy. First, it's really fast. Typically, it takes six months or less to get a Chapter 7 bankruptcy discharge. Second, all of your eligible debts are wiped out, and you don't have to pay anything for them. It's like you get a financial reboot. Third, Bankruptcy stops collection efforts immediately. No more phone calls, no more collection letters, and no debt lawsuit. Fourth, most Chapter 7 bankruptcy filings are successful, and most people get to keep all of their property as long as it's protected by law. If that sounds pretty good, it's important that you also understand the cons of filing Chapter 7 bankruptcy. First, if you're starting with a good credit score, it's probably going to drop when you file, but that's only short term. The good news is that there are simple and straightforward ways that you can start increasing your credit score right after you file. But it's a good idea to be prepared for this drop. Second, bankruptcy may be more costly than other debt relief options. However, you may qualify for fee waivers to help cover those fees. You may also qualify to use Upsolve's free filing tool. But if you work with an attorney, remember that you are going to have to pay their fees, which are often $1,500 or more. Third, it's not likely, but if you have a lot of expensive property that isn't protected by law, you may lose it when you file bankruptcy because the trustee that administers your case may take it and sell it to repay your creditors. Fourth, you do have to qualify in order to file bankruptcy. If your income is too high, you may not be eligible to file. So who is Chapter 7 bankruptcy right for? Anyone who has more debt than they can ever reasonably hope to repay is usually a good candidate for Chapter 7 bankruptcy. Chapter 7 can also be a good option if you need immediate relief from creditors or if you're just tired of debt collectors calling you and sending you letters. 
However, if your income is too high or you have a lot of expensive property that isn't protected by law, you may not want to file Chapter 7 bankruptcy because you might lose that property. And if you think that you could repay your debt over a few years with a solid plan, it might be a better option to consider other debt relief options like debt settlement, debt consolidation, or debt management plans. You can check out our videos on these other debt relief options to learn more. But if you do decide to file Chapter 7 bankruptcy, it can be a powerful tool to help you get out of debt and back on your feet. It was for me. Filing Chapter 7 bankruptcy was one of the best decisions that I ever made. You can learn more about bankruptcy by visiting upsolve.org by taking our screener to see if you might be eligible for our free bankruptcy tool. That tool has helped thousands of people get out of debt and it can help you do the same. Thanks for watching.